Okay, so I want to do PowerPoint Module 3 and the module project here. So we'll go ahead and start this. Um, as always, I always print out the instructions. I mentioned this before, but here I'll go ahead and open these instructions. And I'm going to slide them over to my other screen. And then I need this file, obviously, start file. More importantly, I'm going to open this one, and I need to download this one. So I go ahead and open this one. I wish I had clicked on the other one first. So I'll have to minimize this and go back here and go ahead and download this one. Now it's going to download, save file, and it's going to go into my downloads. So I like to keep a folder where everything is. So that's why I would go in here to my file explorer, and I put everything in a documents folder here you've seen before, and I'm going to go in here to my school year. Actually, I have a, I'm sorry, I have a CS110 homework here. Okay, so I have a PowerPoint folder here. The PowerPoint's not as bad, but I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder, Chapter 3 or module three or whatever so I know that whichever one I'm working on so from the downloads I need to take this file here cut this out of here and then go back and I can hit my back button go right back in my folder put that in module three paste and now I can go open my PowerPoint here that I have to put the two on enable that I need and go save it in the same place so go file save as go to browse go into my folder here so in documents, fall 2020, CS110 homework, and where is module three? Oh, it's in PowerPoint. And sometimes you get lost. And so inside of module three in PowerPoint, actually I click too slow. And I want to take and put this here. So wherever you put your stuff, just so you know where it is. And I'll save that. Okay, so we have this file here, and it tells us step one in our roles operation treetop marketing, build market strategies, win song states, Florida, create a presentation, describes it all. So I don't have to do anything. Step one. Oh, yes, I do. The second part begin by reusing the overview slide from the presentation file support so that it appears as the second slide in the presentation. Okay, so what they're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and open that. Let's just go open this support file. So we go to browse here, and we should be right here. They're opening this file, and what they want us to do is take this here, and they say, so it appears the second slide in the presentation. Delete the extra slides I make clear in the presentation. Unit sales, unit cost. So they want us to just get this overview. So they want that one slide. I think the easiest way to do this is I just copy this one slide. So I have to go to Naval Editing. I have to right-click this and copy this slide and just go back to my presentation. And then I can paste it in here. And it becomes my second slide. Um, and I think that should work because it wouldn't be deleted. It only wants that one slide that we look for. So let's go on to step two. On slide three, development description, right here. Modify the table as follows. Delete the blank table column. So this column here, and they want me to delete this. And the easiest way to do it is usually highlight that column. And then come in here and we can delete. Usually there's delete cells here. Uh, I don't see it. So I can go in here. Come on. Well, you know what? I'll just hit my delete key on my... No, they didn't work. So I'm going to delete this column. So you should be able to right-click and have delete right here. Select table, merge cells. Where is that? That's funny. So I can go in here and delete under design. Where can I delete this layout? Here we go. Here it is. Delete. Delete call. Okay. So I'll go back and undo that and make sure it didn't mess anything. So you see that and then redo. So what I do is just select this cell and delete that. So I could have just went in there and deleted that without selecting that. Okay, so delete the blank table column. Insert the text 60 in the blank cell. So down here they want me to insert 60. And then insert a table row above the last row. So this is our last row. So we need to be in this row. We want to insert above. So that put a row above this. And insert a table row above the last row and enter swimming pool. Swimming pool. Is it capitalized? Yeah. And then the number I tab over and they want 10. One looks funky and still two. Okay, now in slide four. 
And be honest, you always go in here, you have the instructions, so you scroll down through here, but I always come down here and check, especially the way these are graded. So then, you know, make sure that mine, so which was slide two, where was it? Slide 60, they should show me the finished product down here. Come on, come on, go down to the bottom. So this is the overview. This is the table we're talking about. You can zoom in here and I can see, you know, that mine looks just like that one. Okay. So back over there. Okay, so now on step three, on slide four, home designs, insert a text box containing the text 60 lots available. So I go up here to insert. I want text box. Okay, and I just click anywhere and then I'm going to type it 60 lots. I learned to type capital L O T S available. Spelt that available and then exclamation. Make sure the exclamation's there. Okay, so insert text box to the text 60 lots. Apply the shadow effect offset. So I have this text box selected. I go to format and they want me to apply the shadow effect offset. So text effects, shadow effect offset. You should say from inner by the shadow effect offset left offset bottom left to the text bottom left set top right bottom left offset bottom right I want offset bottom left so that'd be this one over here offset bottom left so we apply the shadow did that apply that to it yeah I did it to the letters okay and then to the text and the colored fill aqua accent so the colored fill and they want the aqua accent 5 aqua accent 5 so colored fill ox aqua accent 5 shape style Now, I really don't know if that's right. So once again, what I'm going to do is bring this over here and look at this really fast just to see. Okay, so I can see right away that I screwed that up. It should be in the whole box that I'm doing this effect, that deal. So it's a fill in that box. So I did that wrong. So I'm going to undo that. Undo this. So I need to select this whole thing. Okay. I don't know why available keeps saying it's available. Oh, yeah, I got the A and the I. I kept saying it was misspelled. I knew I misspelled that. Okay, let's try this one more time. So I'm going to three times click in there. Come on. Select everything. Well, I'm having a hard time this morning. Select everything. Now I'll try this again. So insert the text box containing the text 60 lots available. Apply shadow effect. This was the bottom left, and then colored fill. Oh, I see what happened. I'm supposed to be doing it on the shape, not on the shape fill. Accent five is this one. So I know my font's supposed to be white here, so let me go back and undo this. Okay, so I'm back to where I am. Start. I highlight all this. What I should do is use the shadow effect. So shape effect, shadow effect, bottom right, bottom right, bottom left. Okay, that. Now I go to shape fill, and I want this aqua. Accent 5. Increase the font size to 32. So I go to home, change this to 32. Hit, oops, got 328. Hit enter. Only 328. Resize for test box is shown in figure 1. So I need to bring this down. Oops, I need to crowd it in. what I need to do. So I need to bring it like that.
shown a figure one. So I go to the next page and look for figure one. It shows it right out in the middle here somewhere. I have my grid lines on. So you may not have your grid lines on, but it looks like it's right across from 300 square, square feet right here. So to me, it looks like it's about right in there somewhere. So you see lots of elbow. Okay. I still don't know why they show white mine shows deals. So on slide four, insert text box change six device by the shadow effect, bottom left two text and color fill aqua accent five shape style. Increase the font size, the text file, resize the position the text box room three one. I did that. Nowhere is so white also when I grade it. On slide five, unit cost. Okay. Use the content placeholder. So in here to insert a table consisting, so I need a table, and it should consist of three columns and two rows. Okay, that's good. Apply the light style to an accent to table style. So I'm going to table styles here, and I want you to insert the three columns, two rows, apply the light style to accent to. Light style two. So that'd be the second row. Light style two and then accent two. This one. Okay. And then enter the text shown in the table. So it starts off up here. We got homes, condos, and estates. And I'm just using my tab key to move around in there. Um, we got dollar size six hundred thousand. Nope, they don't have the zeros, decimals, just that. We got four hundred thousand. Oops, I got one too many zeros there. Oh dang it! Undo. I moved that by accident. Click in there. See, I got that size one. Make sure I don't get the size narrow. Four hundred thousand. And over here, this one will be two million. That's the one I want. Okay. And that's it. On slide six. So go down here to slide six. Insert a clustered column chart using the content placeholder. And edit the data shown in table two. Delete any extra rows. Oh, insert a clustered column chart. So here's clustered column. Okay, and then we have to put the data in here. So for series one, this will be for sale. Series two will be sold. Don't need this column here. And then four, don't need this row. And then categories. Homes, oops, I should hit enter down. We got homes, condos, and estates. And then our numbers are 15, and I'm using my arrow keys on the keyboard. Five, four, six, up, 20, and then 10. So check my data. For sale, sold, make sure I spelled everything right. So it's the big deal. Homes, condos, estates. Okay, deleting extra rows of column, which I did while I was doing it. Okay, so now I can close this. Oh crap, I didn't want to close that. I'll come back. Where you at? Close that and I might jump clear out of it. So chart. Still displaying applies style 14 chart style. So I have the chart selected. And 14, usually these are numbered across, so 4, 8, 9. It's like 14 will be way over here. It's probably the last one. So I apply style 14. Add properties for sale and sold as the chart title. So chart title's here. I click in there. Prop, properties for sale. 
change the font size of the text and the x-axis to 16 points. So when we talk about x-axis, that's across and up and down. So, what the... So, this... So, when I'm confused like that, I'm going to go in here and look... Oops, I saw this. I'm going to close this one. So I'm going here and look at my answer key and see how theirs looks. And yeah, so as the condos, estates, homes, they increased, I can see right here. So I want to make sure I have those highlighted. And I can go up here and just change it by this, 16. And that changed the size of all them fonts. Okay, back page, step seven. On slide seven, animate the picture with a bounce interest animation effect. So what I have to do is click the picture animation come up here and found bounce oops i think i want to add animation here and i want to under bounce i think this is what i add animation text object bounce into view from upper left corner no so that's what we want to add the bounce effect on slide eight animate the text box containing the phone number with the fly in enter so i want this text box selected and animate the fly in and change the duration up here to 1.0 okay so I can get preview to see what that does so I just slowed it down came up slower preview the animation so I did that Inside sort of should look like the figure final, so I should be done. So let's go up here, save this, close this, see if it gets me on that white font. So go back in here, go into drop files, and go back over here to PowerPoint module three. It's the one I did today. Submit. Great summary. Open this. Go down the bottom. 95. Apply a text effect on slide 4. The text 60 last should be formed. I use shadow effect offset. Yeah, I definitely did that wrong. But you know what? A 95, I know the instructor's going to give me a 100 if I submit a 95 on this. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure to top this. Do not submit the whole thing. Go up here, new. Go up here, take the picture of this. Okay. And then I just go file, save as. And I go to score module. Or I might put PPT module three project. So I know what it is. And I'm putting in pictures junk. So I know where I'm putting it. Save that, close that, and go turn that into Canvas. So that should work for you.